I will be demonstrating the proper insertion of an intraosseous needle in the proximal humerus. Proximal humerus has many benefits, one of which is it's a large target. And just to appreciate how anterior to the midline the proximal humerus lies, one can take the palm of your hand and actually palpate the anterior portion of the proximal humerus with the palm of your hand. The patient's hand should be placed over the abdomen in order to help internally rotate the humerus to keep the intertubercular groove, which is where the biceps tendon is, uh, medially and out of your field. The site of insertion is the greater tubercle, which is on the anterolateral aspect of the upper arm. In order to find the proper landmarks, I'm going to go over some techniques that you can use in order to feel the, the proper bony anatomy. The first thing that should be done with the patient's hand over the abdomen and the elbow tucked in and the arm adducted against the body, one should place the ulnar aspect of the left hand, in this case, um, in the axilla to help define the anterior border and keep myself out of the uh, medial aspect of the arm, which is where the brachial plexus resides. The other hand should be placed in a perpendicular fashion in the midline of the upper arm, and where my thumbs will come together will define a line over which I should be palpating to feel for the surgical neck. The proper target is about one or two centimeters or one finger breadth above the surgical neck. So I'm using my hands in order to define where along the upper arm I should palpate. And palpating up and down, I will feel for the surgical neck. It will feel like a golf ball on a tee. Where the golf ball meets the tee, that's the surgical neck. The proper placement is approximately one or two centimeters or approximately one finger breadth above that. So I've determined my landmarks. I'm eyeballing where I believe I'm going to be put, putting the needle. And I want to make sure I'm putting the needle at a, uh, approximately a 45 degree angle and I'm flush and perpendicular with the plane of the skin at that insertion point. 